Hi guys, Mr. Waffle Waffles here. I'm today going to be bringing you guys a video that I hope you'll all find to be of extreme interest. <laughs> um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, we're going to dive straight in with this by the way, uh, the zombie map Moon was originally planned to be called Paris. And, um, well not to be just called Paris, but it was originally planned to be a Paris map. However, after Shangri-La, the Zombies team at Treyarch basically decided that they had to do something with much more of a wow factor than just Paris, and um, they loved the idea of, like Jimmy especially, Jimmy Zielinski, loved the idea of being suspended in the air by water on Shangri-La with the water shoots, and thought that they should take it one step further and keep you suspended in the air sort of thing, um, with like no gravity well much less gravity um and so we have moon and that was obviously released with the resurrection instead of paris and just before i really get into the video i'd just like to say a massive big whoop whoop big up to dark jolteon on the cods forum who wrote a brilliant thread which i will use parts of during this video i've edited uh quite a bit of it but i will use snippets and also some of the same sources that he was using in his thread on cods which will be in the description check it out so anyway as you may be thinking at this point, Paris would maybe be an unbelievably boring map. I mean, like you might not think that Paris would be particularly interesting. However, I disagree, and you're about to find out why. Um, I also think that it could well be a future map, because at the end of the day, just because they've said that it won't be releasing with this game doesn't mean it won't be releasing with the next Trout game. And, I mean, we saw with... Kino, that was meant to be released with Call of Duty 5, and that never happened, so this could easily happen with the next Treyarch game. Anyway, a discovery was made by an explorer of the Parisian catacombs, okay, on a video camera. The Parisian catacombs are basically this tunnel system that is like 600 kilometers roughly of tunnels that run under the Parisian streets, and... Um, I actually heard a quote once saying that there were, like, if you're on a street in Paris, there are catacombs under you, sort of thing. Okay, so a discovery was made by someone exploring catacombs on a video camera, or, like, we assume that a discovery was made. Um, the operator went missing, um, because, like, basically, they were recording, but they then dropped their camera, and... Lots of people have tried to locate them, but like all that happens is they're literally they're walking through and there's quite a long like amount large amount of film. But they literally then sort of like start moving faster, they get out of breath, and they then just drop the camera and run. And that's it. And it goes for about forty minutes after that and then it just ends where when the tape runs out. So people have sort of examined the film and thought, right, we're gonna try and explore and find this guy. Um but they've never actually been seen. They've just disappeared into the damp and mysterious tunnels of underneath Paris. Um, so, uh, this tape fell into the hands of a cataphile, which is basically someone that explores the catacombs. And they decided to go and search for this missing person. Uh, whether they were trying to save their life or just find out what happened, I don't know. During the search, they uh, discovered numerous rooms that they had not previously known about, filled with quite literally thousands of different human bones. Uh, they tend to be sorted, quite strangely. Um, I'm now going to be quoting something from Dark Joel John's thread. Um, it he says that the mines are now unkempt, unpatrolled, and unsafe. As far as legends go, ancient cults and creatures patrol the depths. Spirits dwell in the infinite shadows, and if one wanders deep enough and survives, they may even encounter Hades itself. Cough, satanic involvement in the zombie storyline, alpha snake thread on cods, cough. As far as reality goes, those legends can take a back seat. The tunnels stretch for close to 600 kilometers throughout the Parisian underground, and most of them are unmapped. Saying it is easy to get lost is an understatement. It's nearly impossible not to get lost. Many parts of the catacombs are hundreds of feet below street level. Some hallways are flooded or are so narrow you have to crawl through them. There are holes that drop hundreds of feet and manholes that are unreachable, luring unwary urban explorers in with false promises of freedom. The infinite underground maze absorbs sound, mutes it, making it unlikely you will hear somebody yelling for help, even if they're not far away. Or worse, making it unlikely that someone's going to hear you. Thousands of human bones litter the tunnels due to overcrowding in many of Paris's cemeteries. Weird paintings adorn the walls. 
Are they ancient? Are they new? Are they warnings or pleas for help? If you do have claustrophobia, you'll want to basically avoid the catacombs, and if you don't, then you probably will do afterwards, uh, because they are, like, seriously freaky. It's a freaky place. Um, and that about concludes what I'm going to be quoting from there. And uh, basically, those who have actually explored the, like, real depths of the catacombs themselves uh, always mention a gateway to hell that can be found after hours upon hours of walking through the actual tunnels. There's a documentary on YouTube which is in the description, the link to it, and uh, about 1 minute and 42 seconds in, maybe 43 seconds, you'll actually hear them briefly mention the gateway to hell. Uh, so I'm not just making it up, and... Um, I recommend you check that little documentary out, uh, even though it's a bit weird and the narrator is proper annoying. But uh, what could be more fitting than a gateway to hell in a Nazi zombie map, honestly? <laughs> um, so yeah, now on to the next little thing that I want to talk about is, uh, you guessed it, the Nazis. Right, I quote, During World War II, the tunnels were used by Parisian members of the French Resistance as a secret headquarters. In addition, they were also used by German soldiers who built a bunker under a high school to strengthen the Nazi hold on Paris. Now, obviously, it's high school. For me, it would be secondary school because I'm not American. But anyway, there are many smaller rooms dotted around the bunker, too, often separated by rusty iron gates and great doors with huge round handles. I peer inside hesitantly. Nothing but rubble and some rubbish now. But I'd hate to be sealed inside one of those areas. Some lead to storage chambers of sorts, others to further passages. Were these doors to keep people wandering out of the Nazi bunker or to keep someone else or something else in? Uh, this basically stinks of zombies left, right, and center. Uh, we've got Nazis, which is obviously, it's gonna be obvious because of, uh, Germany obviously occupied much of France during World War II. Uh, so if there were any scientists that were, like, German scientists that were wanting to do experiments on locals or needed test subjects, uh, then that would be, like, easily acquirable, um, due to the huge numbers of French people that would have been there, uh, for them to pick from sort of thing and um the bunker that they're actually talking about just then is obviously the, the like it's a room you'll be able to see pictures of because i've adorned this video with numerous pictures of the catacombs themselves um you'll be able to see exactly what he's talking about there's a, another quote here that says the walls are different here brickwork and there are a few traces of machinery left around electrical boxes and oil drum benches what catches my attention though are the signs on the walls and the numerous arrows pointing in various directions so these are perfect features of a zombie map, okay? We've got machinery left around, which we see on loads of maps. There's, I mean, on Shangri-La, there's loads of machinery left around, just as an example. Again, there are uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the arrows and signs that we've seen on every map. <laughs> there are always arrows and signs showing you where the power is, where guns are, ascend from the darkness, like little scrolls of writing, etc, etc. And also, like, electrical boxes could say that that's sort of an analogy sort of thing for the broken twaps, twap, trap switches, sorry, twap switches, <laughs> the trap switches that we see on Kino, and obviously the actual trap switches that are repaired on all the other maps. Um, and yeah, so next up, you're going to see this awesome sculpture of a castle that is in one of the catacombs' actual tunnels. Uh, I think it looks pretty damned awesome, and if I was walking along and didn't know it was there, it would be a really nice surprise to see. Um, and I'm sure that they could work that into a map somehow, Easter egg-wise. Um, little quote here. We finally reach our destination of Le Chateau, the castle, a magnificent sculpture resting down in its own chamber. Along the years, visitors have brought trinkets with which to adorn its walls. Action figures from generations long gone and the empty metal cases from old used candles. So, this is something that's clearly paid quite a bit of respect by the people in there, and it does look awesome, as I'm sure you'll agree. I mean, it's on your screen now, you can see it looks pretty damn beast. And it's underground, which is even better. <laughs> um, and so we're gonna now go into this image, and you're gonna be like, what? Why the hell are them skulls like that, fool? Well, Le Carrefour de Mort, or however the hell you pronounce it, because I cannot speak French to save my life, even though, uh, like, my dad is, like, my dad's mum is French. Um, and, like, my brother and dad speak French quite well. Uh, my dad better than my brother, obviously, because my brother was younger. Don't <laughs> Anyway, um, the, that basically translates to the Crossroads of the Dead, a circular tomb modelled from the roundabout on the surface above it. So, on the like, ground level, there's a roundabout, okay? The bones here are from the nearby Montparnasse Cemetery. Once through the hole, the unwitting, unwitting visitor faces a merry-go-round of yelling rotten femurs and... Yellowing, sorry, not yelling. Rotten femurs and cracked craniums. 
The only way to go forward is to crawl on your hands and knees, taking in tunnel after tunnel piled high with the bones of those long since passed. Rather surprisingly, there is hardly any smell at all. I try not to think about the people who once lived here as their numer as numerous bodies crackle and splinter under my feet. There are no full skeletons here. The limbs have been separated in order to save space in the mass graves. Occasionally I see what looks to be a skull, but turns out to be merely a polished cranium missing its lower parts. I just wonder how deep these bone piles sink. This is very interesting. The person I'm quoting then says that their guide basically explained that there used to be many more bones in the area. The fact, In fact, they're surprised that the amount has fallen so much. Perhaps they've been clearing out the area, or perhaps the dead have been walking away. <laughs> That's just a little quote from me. That's not actually in the text. Sure enough, the group then find another maze of tunnels piled even higher with bones in the crossword crossroads above. They suppose few explorers ever come down that deep. An inscription on the wall tells us how aged the bones are, nearly 150 years old. Just around the corner we make another startling discovery, a skull altar crafted by some previous adventurers. Guys, doesn't that just scream Richtofen Shrine to you? Shangri laugh, cough, cough, cough. I mean, that is a, a skull altar, that's exactly what you see. In Shangri La you see an altar with skulls on it. Um, so yeah, the final thing I bring to you is a little quirky thought that I had. Okay, seeing as we're now being given one last large Easter egg per map, I think it would fit quite nicely as some part of the Easter egg this uh, itself, this next thing. Um, on one of the tunnels, a statue of a man can be seen. However, it's no ordinary man. He's known as L Le Pamurail. I, d I don't again. I I can't pronounce French to save my life, but um. I'll put all the translations of the French I'm speaking, uh, or failing at, on the screen, and it basically translates as the man who can walk through walls. I quote, The modern-day fairy tale goes something like this. One day a man discovers that he can walk through walls, and powered he uses his newfound ability to get his own back on people and for petty theft. Eventually he also woos a woman's heart with his special talent. But tragedy befalls him, and one day he becomes stuck in a wall he is passing through, as you can see on your screen. This isn't the only statue of the man, um, perhaps there wasn't only one man, <laughs> but our friend also lives in the catacombs. He's seen better days, a recent act of vandalism ruined the statue, but cataphiles patched him up with the bandages, with the bandages? What am I about? With bandages, and a nice little hat. Wouldn't that tie in wonderfully with an easter egg? People walking through walls, ghosts walking through walls, some spiritual crap walking through walls, I mean, it just stinks of zombies to me. Um, and that pretty much ties up what I have to say about the actual Parisian catacombs. This has been like 12 minutes, sort of nearly 13 minutes now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's certainly been a lot of fun researching the topic, and after hours of compiling all this info and putting this video together, I trust you will appreciate the effort. Also, fun fact from Liam for the winter, the Parisian catacombs actually feature in the Modern Warfare 3 storyline, and therefore maybe an online map as well. Um, although I don't think so. In one of the trailers, Overlord says head underground to the catacombs, and if you look at the surroundings, you can see that they are clearly Paris. Uh, like the proof is that it's exactly the same as the online map, which is it's set in Paris. We know that. Um, foreshadowing, maybe, by Treyarch. You never know. Um, well, by the Call of Duty team, I should say. So, as I said, um, I spent a lot of time compiling this for you uh, and just sort of getting to grips with the whole topic, trying to find some more info. Uh, this is what I've decided to condense into this video. Didn't want it to make two videos or anything like that. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, and this is like it's sort of been a, a prediction of a Paris map in the future. Um, I mean, I knew that there would be a Paris map, like, we knew that Moon was going to be a Paris map. Um, uh, until it became Moon, but then they announced with the panel that it wasn't Moon. I, I mean, it wasn't Paris. Herp derp. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, and obviously, there's like the fact that there, like, it, to back up the fact that there could be a map in France, you've got the uh, on Deris, you've got the picture of the Eiffel Tower, you've got the boards that say FRA, which is a common abbreviation for France, although it could obviously mean something else, it's just making an assumption. But yeah, there's loads of stuff, so I'm just sort of putting this idea to you that I'm guessing there's going to be a Black Ops 2 style Paris map, Parisian Catacombs, it would make a great place for a map, and I wonder what's on the other side of the gateway to hell, is it going to be hell, or is it going to be something else? This has been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. I will see you guys later. Hope you've enjoyed it, and peace out. Bye-bye.